Homicide detectives went back to an Indianapolis neighborhood tonight where at least a dozen people have been killed in the past year alone. Now the investigation is in one of the city's highest crime areas. And today's discovery on Brookside Avenue comes one day after DPS unveiled its crime fighting plan for the so-called hot zip codes. Eyewitness News Crime Bureau reporter Steve Jefferson is on the near northeast side tonight with a look at that area's latest violence. Steve? Well, John and Andrea, officers came here to this home you see behind me on Brookside Avenue and had to force their way in. Once inside, they found a violent crime scene in the living room and a man dead inside. Just when Rosie Brown thought things were improving in her East Indianapolis neighborhood, this, another murder. A Metro officer doing a welfare check at this Brookside Avenue home found a man murdered inside. I've seen the police over here, but... Nothing like that. Nothing serious. It's never good for any of our neighborhoods where we have a, a death of, by suspicious means at all. This area has been hit hard. Metro police had already started focusing on this area called a hot spot for crime, trying to reduce the violence in the Brookside Avenue area. But this murder comes after an already violent year close to Rosie Brown's home. Just blocks away in January 2014, store security cameras recorded a man who opened fire, killing Tyrese Dorsey and William Davis. On February 21st, someone shot and killed Michael Whitfield and Lorenzo Clark. In November, police found the body of Kyle Kanye in the backseat of a car doused with bleach. This all happened in an area already plagued with dozens of vacant and abandoned houses, something Rosie hopes is only temporary. This neighborhood is okay. It's a good, it's a cool neighborhood. Still, she has a message for whoever is responsible for the latest violence near her home. Turn yourself in. I mean, to be the best thing to do. Turn yourself in. It's going to be on your conscience. Now, homicide detectives wrapped up their investigation here at the house about an hour ago. They're starting from scratch as far as looking for clues on who is responsible for the latest murder here. If you have any information that could help in this case, call Crime Stoppers anonymously. That telephone number is 262-TIPS.